Hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for the week of March 6th. We're going to jump right in here, Gemini, and we are going to see what is going on for you at this time. You have this mechanic card. It says you can easily fix your finances with a little friction. So if you're, I, for some of you, I don't even think there are any financial issues, but I feel like it's saying you can make them better. <laughs> and more, more money is always a good thing as far as I'm concerned. And, you know, so it, I feel like there are like a lot of opportunities for you to increase your finances um, to improve your finances. For some of you, you could be like in a little bit of a situation here with the Eight of Swords, but um, again, the Eight of Swords says that some you're actually much more free than you realize. So I feel for some of you, you need to realize that like if you have a debt maybe that you're like worried about or um, if you have some some sort of worry right here, then I feel like you could end this situation and kind of overcome it very quickly. This row here is the good stuff. So it doesn't matter what shows up here. It's gonna be positive no matter what. So it looks to me like you are kind of like overcoming some sort of nightmare or you could be kind of um, fixing a nightmare situation. This card also says um, mechanic in the automotive aerospace or any career career in repair. It says, mend what needs mending. It might be broken, but all is not lost. For a very small percentage of you, I feel like this could be a relationship with a person as well. I'm not, I don't think you're going to be getting back together with this person, but you could be, you know, clearing some things up with a person or you could be receiving closure as well. You have the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Swords to me can sometimes represent closure. So there could just be closure coming in for you. Uh, you have the six of wands here. Um, for some of you, I feel like a quick solution for financial issues is money, obviously. But I feel like if you ask your raise for or ask your boss for a raise, this could be a raise or a promotion coming in for you. Uh, for others, I feel like exposing something to the world could lead to a lot of success as well. Again, I keep encouraging people that we have Pluto and Aquarius. If there was ever a time to share your voice write a book, um, start a YouTube channel, start a podcast. If there was ever a time, it would be right now. <laughs> so, and you don't want to wait in, uh, until 19 years from now when it's at the end of Aquarius. You want to do this now before it even enters in to Aquarius. I, I keep telling people, I, like I think people, like I think I'm making it up, but it's like literally attention is gonna be super, super freaking important. And you don't even have to start a YouTube channel. This could be attention at work, but we're talking about positive attention here. We want to do things that, make our boss say like, wow, they're doing such a good job. Let me give them a raise, right? It's like, those are the things we want to do. It's really critically important that we make ourselves more valuable as well. So it's like uh, learning new skills, improving the skills that we already have, especially in work or business, but also you know, if you have your own business or if you have a career, kind of like going above and beyond is gonna be the thing that leads to a lot of success. So you know that's what I would be doing here with the Six of Wands. You have the Eight of Swords, Eight of Swords is a card of setting yourself free. So I feel like they're in needing to kind of set yourself free. So I feel like for some of you, there is like something that you could be a little bit stuck on. Eight of Swords always represents to me that, that you're only focusing on one solution when there are many solutions. So it's like, if you have any issues or problems, but again, even if you, you might not have an issue. Sometimes to me, the Eight of Swords can, you know, there's kind of like this paradox that exists. This is what I'll tell you where it's like sometimes we get to a certain level in life, we're making a certain amount of, amount of money and it's like good enough, but we're not like uncomfortable enough to um, try to push it any farther. So it's like, we kind of in the back of our mind know that we wanna be over here, right? Making a lot more, but at the same time, we're like comfortable enough where it's like not enough to make, to motivate us to be successful, right? <laughs> and sometimes that's how I feel about the Eight of Swords where it's like saying maybe things in money or your love life or whatever, it's like maybe they're not bad, but they're also not great. And you're kind of like in this in-between zone. So I would encourage you to like push it push it towards the sun. A lot of happiness, joy, uh, good things coming in for you. So I do see a lot of happiness coming in here uh, with the sun. It's like you're accomplishing a lot. Uh, let's see. Uh, with the six of wands, I'm gonna double clarify this, by the way. You have this frivolity card, which is like being frivolous, wasting time. So I would get moving. And literally, page of wands to the seven of swords. Seven of Swords can, of course, be be lying, cheating, stealing. You could be ending a lying, cheating, stealing situation, but really, uh, Seven of Swords is a card of tactics. It's a card of finding other ways of doing things, <laughs> like I said, with the Eight of Swords. So get moving. It's literally going to lead to a glow up here with the Empress card. Uh, with the Eight of Swords, 
you have this constancy card. I, I feel like something, you know, again, it's funny because it's like I am, I do have the word constant popping into my head here. And, you know, it's like there has been a constant in your life and it's time to change your story. That makes perfect sense to me with that eight of swords. It's like something has always been the same and it's almost like a comfort zone that needs to be uh, broken free from. It could be the way you do your job. It could be the amount of money you make. It's like not painful enough. And what I feel like this is saying is like, don't wait for it to get painful enough for you to make the change, make the change now. With the uh, sun, you have this enemy card. Yep. I, I do feel like for some of you that someone was a liar, cheater, stealer. Like, look at how this guy is looking at the empress. It's like he knows that he deceived an empress. So for some of you, it's not like, you know, I, I feel like it's not like that. I don't even like putting these stories into my readings because like, who the hell cares? Like this person walked away. I feel like you're over it. It's like now they regret it. Probably you have that uh, judgment card here. I feel like you're just sitting in your empress power. So that's what I would do. I would just ignore it if you have a person coming back. I feel like this person is doing things though. You know, what I will say is I feel like this person could be like posting things or kind of like trying to trigger you online. They could be posting things online that are clearly directed towards you. So I would block this person, plain and simple. With the frivol, here you go, with the frivolity card and the six of wands, you have the devil. It's almost like this person is an ant in your life that's like crawling up your leg. You know, it's like they are, you know, so again, for some of you, I feel like you just need to block this person. It's like they're nothing. <laughs> and I feel like they're just kind of an, an annoyance. So, you know, again, I feel like they're, that frivolity card is telling me that what they're doing just doesn't even matter. With the constancy card and the eight of swords, yes, you have the fool. Definitely time for you to take a leap of faith. Again, if you've been thinking about starting something, I know I know, I always say this, but I'm gonna keep saying it. You have to get started. You just have to get moving. With the sun and the enemy card, you have the five of pentacles. You could be dealing with a person who's broke. So that could be why they're trying to come back into your life. But like I said, I feel like you're over it. And I feel like you're focusing on yourself here. Plain and simple. Uh, next in the area of the unexpected, you have this card that says, challenge yourself to be stronger than your challenges. Yes, there you go. Didn't, didn't I, was it you that I just said something about lifting weights to <laughs> or whatever? I don't know, it might've been the last sign I read for, but kind of like what I'm getting here is that for some of you, it's like, I feel like you need to challenge yourself to like rise above above some stuff. You know, I, I, I think I just said it to Aquarius that to me, life is like lifting weights. You know, it's like you can't lift the same weight over and over and over again and expect to build muscle. And trust me, some NASM certified expert trainer always leaves me a comment about how you can lift the same weight. I'm, I'm, I'm painting a story here, people. I don't care about your certification or anything like that, right? For the most part, if you want your muscles to grow, you have to lift heavier weights. That's how life works. We have to constantly be challenging ourselves and we can't get in these like in between comfort zones where we don't push ourselves, right? Well, we can. And again, there's nothing wrong with, you know, being happy with your, where you're at. That's not what I'm suggesting. But what I am saying is I feel like most of you want more based off this reading. So it's definitely saying, I think there's nothing really unexpected here other than the fact that if you do the work, you're, you know, it's going to lead to bigger results. You have the Knight of Cups, the Page of Wands and the Judgment card. I kind of feel like it's a little bit unexpected, but not really that a person could be coming back from the past year. I feel like it's like unexpected, but at the same time, I feel like you're like, I knew they were gonna come back. <laughs> so, you know, there you go. And again, I would block and move on for most of you because I feel like this person is still a liar. It's like this person, it's like they look like they want to get away with it. You know, he's like grinning. He's got a grin on his face. I'll show you, I'll actually show you over here. You can see how he's kind of like grinning, looking back at her. Over, which is you over here. So, you know, I would definitely say don't let this person enter into your life. You have the page of wands. You know, it's like this is the beginning of the journey. You know, some of you are moving forward in life just in general. And I kind of feel like, you know, it's like sometimes at the beginning of the journey, I feel like we're not sure where we're going. So if you're, if you're starting anything new, it's like you're at the beginning. You don't really know what to do. You don't really know the right direction and all this other stuff. But I feel like you need to kind of, keep pushing forward here because you're clearly heading towards the Empress glow up vibes. You have the Knight of Cups as well. Knight of Cups could be love, could be a knight in shining armor, but for you, you know, the Knight of Cups can represent like needing to plant seeds. Normally he's standing in front of the desert, like he's in the desert, but he's standing in front of the water. So he's in the desert, but there's water. It's like he could plant seeds and they would grow. So you, and again, I really feel this energy for a lot of people right now where it's like, Maybe we feel like we don't have the resources or we feel like we don't have the things that we need to get started, but we actually do. We just have to get started <laughs> to kind of like prove it to ourselves. With the Knight of Cups, you have this priest card. 
Yeah, for some of you, I feel like you're trying to break free from like a box is what I'm getting here with this priest card. It's like the priest, you know, has certain beliefs, right? And I feel for a lot of you that you're trying to break free from like certain limiting beliefs, whether you realize it or not. Again, I think that some of you realize it. It's like, I think some of you are like, yeah, I want to remove these limiting beliefs from my life. For others of you, I kind of get this energy where you could be getting triggered and about certain things that have to do with limiting beliefs. And again, I would face those things head on because I feel there's like a good deal of growth, expansion, you know, everything coming in for you. With the Page of Wands, you have this despair card. I can't really show you this part right here. And, but um, again, I do feel like some of you, it's like, you know, when we walk away from something, whether it's love or otherwise, I think we, no matter what, we always have that moment where we're like, am I, am I doing the right thing? Am I going the right direction? I really feel the reading is saying yes. So don't be in despair. You just haven't, you know, it's like you just haven't gotten to the point where there's like new growth yet, but you're going in that direction with that page of wands. So don't turn around. Um, with the judgment card, you cannot make this stuff up. You have this reunion card. <laughs> so again, someone wants a reunion uh, for some of you. It's obviously not gonna be true for all of you, but um, I really see you as over it. So, you know, plain and simple. And who knows, with that priest card, this person might be coming in saying, I found God, right? I'm I'm a better person. I'm no longer the devil. Uh -uh, no, this person is still the devil. You know, it's like, you know, this person, it's like, I feel like they're still the same. So, you know, I would just be, you know, I would be careful of that. With the Knight of Cups and the Priest, you have the Six of Swords. Yep, you're moving on. See, here's the thing. You have chosen to do something hard. Six of Swords is a rite of passage. The Hermit is a rite of passage. This is your reward, abundance, um, growth, whatever you want with that Empress card. So I'm telling you right now, this is the right direction. Six of Swords is like saying, I don't know where I'm going. You know, the woman and the child in that boat, they have only the clothing on their back. They're completely starting over. They're starting from scratch, right? But they know that the other side is probably better than where they've been. So what, it doesn't matter if this is love or if you're like looking for a new job or starting something new, like a new business. I feel like where you're heading, it's like, I'm not saying it's gonna be an easy journey. You have the hermit card here, but there are big rewards on the other side. So, you know, I would keep going here. <laughs> With the page of wands and the despair card, yes. See, this person might be sad because, you know, 10 of swords twice. It's like, you're, I feel like you're over this. I feel like you, this person stabbed you in the back and you're moving on. With the judgment card and the reunion card, nine of pentacles. Are like, are you kidding? <laughs> it's like, you are choosing yourself here, Gemini. So that's exactly what I would be doing if I were you is choosing yourself, pouring into yourself. Um, you know, it's a card of gratitude and luxuries. It's also a card of your focus. And I feel that you need to like focus on your greatness is what's going on here. Uh, next, we are gonna look at what's coming in for you at the, or what you need to hear at this time. You have the Green Man card. It says the forces of nature favor you. So number one, I am getting like get out into nature, but I also feel sometimes that we are challenged to make a decision. And it's like, if we make the right decision, we are rewarded, but we don't get that reward right away. And that's what this looks like to me right here. You have the 10 of swords, the hermit, and the seven of swords. I feel like some of you have cut out a liar, cheater, stealer already. You've probably already cut this person out. I'm getting like six months ago, but you know, it could be longer, could be shorter, take it how it resonates. Uh, and I feel like this person was just playing games. You know, it's like they, they knew they had an empress, right? And you chose to walk away. For others, I feel like this is saying that you're now working with the energy. So again, outside of love, I feel that you are working with the energy of kind of looking for new ways of doing things. Like I said, with that eight of swords, you're looking for better solutions to the problems that you could be experiencing in like work, business, or otherwise. But again, these might not be problems. Like I said, there might be, you might be in that in-between zone where you wanna be over here, making more money or finding more success, right? Seven of Swords is a card of tactics. It says there might be a better way to do what you're doing right now. There might just be a different way to do your job. There might be a different way to do your career or your business. You're gonna have to do the research to figure it out. But if you do it, you know, abundant, empress. You have the Hermit here. The Hermit is, of course, a card of going through a rite of passage. He's gone through a dark night of the soul. Now he's standing at the top of a mountain, which represents an achievement. So I do feel there are a lot of achievements coming in for you. And it's kind of like you're, you're graduating here. You have the Ten of Swords. It's like you're putting something to rest. Uh, I do feel for some of you, this could be like love or a love situation that you're putting to rest. For others, it's just maybe a career. Uh, with the Ten of Swords, you have this melancholy card. It's crazy to me that everyone has had this card. <laughs> and again, I want you to know that 
I, I everyone's had this card. I feel like it could just be an energy of the week. Um, but what I would say is that you might be feeling this energy right here, Gemini. You might be feeling a little sad, a little bit down. You know, you might be feeling like, oh, you know, I let this past person go. I'm a little bit sad. You might be feeling like, oh, this business that I have isn't really fulfilling me anymore and I want to start this new thing. Again, right here. It's like you're in this, uh, the way I see your reading is I feel like you're in this in-between zone, kind of like purgatory maybe is a good way to put it. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um, and I feel like you need to pick yourself up and, and keep moving forward with that. This page of wands energy. I feel like this page of wands energy is saying like, hey, there's like an exciting new adventure that's going to lead to abundance, but you have to pick yourself up here. With the hermit, you have the joyfulness card. Yes, it's like you will be joyful and happy that you completed this journey, whatever this journey is that you're on. With the Seven of Swords, you have this sorrow. Yes, this person misses you, but they're still a jerk. I'm telling you right now, Gemini. Um, if this is a person, they're probably boohooing every single night, right? But guess what? Too bad, so sad. I feel like this. I feel like you gave a person multiple chances here, and you know, I feel like they screwed it up every way that they possibly could with their games. And I feel like they'll always play games. So there you go. Um, for others. Again, you could still, even if this person was a jerk, you could still miss them, you know, and still be sad. But again, I feel like that melancholy card is like saying, okay, like, you know, you've had your pity party. Now it's time to start moving forward, right? Uh, let's see. With the melancholy ten of swords, you have the five of swords. I mean, and it's just repeating itself at this time. Breakup, separation. With the hermit and the joyfulness, yes, there's, if you want to get married, if you want a commitment, there is a commitment coming in for you. I also get this feeling that, you know, again, the four of wands to me is a portal card. You have to, on a traditional four of wands, there's like that garland, you know, it's like a, it kind of represents like a finish line. It's also a card of completion. So I feel like some of you, it's like you're completing one stage of your life and you're um, going through that portal and getting to the next stage of life, which is gonna be way, way better than what you've experienced. For some of you, I feel like you're saying, it's like, there's no way that I can experience anything better than what I've experienced. Like this is as good as it gets, but it's not. You know, there's much more for you. With the Seven of Swords and the Sor Sorrow card, you have the Hierophant. It's funny that I said inside the box thinking or the box or whatever, the, the priest card, because the Hierophant basically represents needing to think outside the box, needing to come up with new solutions or need, needing to do things differently. So I would definitely open to new solutions here. At the end here for the good stuff, doesn't matter what shows up here, it's gonna be good no matter what. You have the seahorse card. It says, be confident and assertive, divine masculine. You have the divine feminine right here as well. So <laughs> some of you could be attracting like a divine counterpart, whichever you prefer, don't care, take it how it resonates. Uh, I also feel like more action, uh, of course, would be very beneficial. I, I just said it to Aquarius that I believe that we're in kind of like a world period, like the world card, where the world source she has two wands. One kind of represents the magician's wand. She creates with her, her thoughts, her feelings, her, you know, her um, manifestation powers, right? She, the other wand is kind of like actions. And I feel like people need to realize that we have to mix both together. We have to kind of use our powers of manifestation, but we also have to use our um, powers of action. <laughs> and I, I feel like more action towards your goals here. You have the nine of swords, the four of cups and the empress. Again, I really feel that you could be choosing yourself with the empress because the nine of swords and four of cups is like saying, no, I'm done with these situations that don't fulfill me. Four of cups, I'm done being disappointed. I'm done in this round and round situation with the nine of swords, which really tells me you gave someone multiple chances and I feel like you're done. I feel like you're choosing yourself. Doesn't matter what gender you are. I feel like you're just sitting in the Empress energy, attracting abundance. You are in receptive mode, as cliche as that sounds. Again, I'm not a big fan of receptive mode. I know a lot of readers are like, oh, just sit there and just like wait for someone to approach you. Yeah, it's like it's like not 1930 anymore. Like I always say, you know, it's like gone are the days where little, you know, you and little Susie Gherkins are gonna get married, you know, from, you know, from church right down the road. That doesn't exist anymore. Hate to burst your bubble, but what I would say here is it's like, it's it's one thing to be in receptive mode, but it's also another to just be like, oh, this person has to give, 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 and I don't have to do anything, right? So, you know, I think that, you know, there it's kind of like a little bit of BS. So I'll, I'll just put it there, but I do feel like you're kind of in this mode of receiving. You have the four cups here. Again, this is gonna be good no matter what. I feel like you are making wishes and it's like th you are paying attention to the dots. I always say the four cups to me, 
is kind of a card of needing to connect dots. It's almost as if he's tried to, you know, manifest a cake, for example, and he's just getting the flour, the sugar, the eggs. He has to connect the dots. He has to mix it all together, put it in the oven. Then he's going to get the cake. He's not going to just manifest the cake, right? But I feel like you are doing this. It's like you're seeing, oh, I have to follow these steps and I'm going to get to start this business or I'm going to attract this money or whatever it is that you're trying to do. So love it. And you have the Nine of Swords. I love this even more because it's showing up in the good stuff. And I feel like you're putting a net to a toxic situation. Doesn't matter what it is. For some of you, I do feel it's work, you know? But again, it's been in this comfort zone. He has that comfort blanket, like I said, on his lap on the Nine of Swords. And it kind of represents him needing to leave behind something that's been comfortable. With the Nine of Swords, you have this child card. I would be careful if you're not trying to get pregnant. I'm telling you right now, Empress, if you're too old to get pregnant, Obviously, this message isn't for you. If you can't get pregnant, obviously, this message isn't for you. But if you can, I would be careful. Uh, this could also be you being pregnant with ideas. I'm telling you right now that I feel like a lot of you have an idea, a plan, a goal, a wish, a dream. And I feel like it's going to be very, very successful, but it needs to be born <laughs> into the world. It's funny I said that we're in a, a world period because the world's about birth. With the four of cups, you have this um, misfortune card. Again, obviously, this is the good stuff. Doesn't matter what shows up here. It's gonna be positive no matter what. So I feel like you're turning your uh, fortunes around by, again, paying attention to those steps. With the Empress, you have this journey card. Didn't I say something about a journey? Oh yeah, we were talking about the Page of Wands. <laughs> so the way for you to get to the Empress is to go on this journey. It's a new journey. You are going into uncharted seas. Again, that seahorse card says be confident. So I definitely feel confidence is gonna be the thing that brings you to this success. With the child and the nine of swords, you have the seven of cups. You're much more focused now. Seven of cups is being spoiled for choice, but I really feel that you're much more sure of like what you want and desire to have in your life. I just feel much more certain with the seven of cups. I don't know, it feels good. With the four of cups and the, mis uh, the misfortune card, you have the page of cups, new love if you want it. So again, if you want new love, I feel like there could be a new person coming in for you. Obviously, I feel it could be a little hot and heavy. Be careful getting pregnant, like I said. <laughs> uh, but, you know, could be a good person here. If you don't want love, I feel that the Page of Cups always has a fish in his cup. And that fish represents, um, you know, something that he wants, like a goal, wish, or dream. But I always say he has to grab onto that fish before it escapes, before it gets to something else. You know, it's kind of funny because I, I just heard something else from... Like, I don't remember what I was listening to, so I just don't remember what it was on. But, you know, basically a person was saying that um, sometimes like new ideas, you have a new idea and it doesn't feel like it resonates, right? And But this might actually be a good thing because it might mean that other people haven't picked up on the idea yet and they're not already working on it. And I think it was, there's a book called The Innovation Stack and I think that's what it comes from. I don't really remember, like I said, but basically the guy was saying, and he's not even an intuitive guy or anything, or he might be intuitive, but he's not like a psychic or anything, right? And he was basically saying that sometimes we have an idea and it's like the collective consciousness hasn't picked up on the idea yet. So we don't think it's a good idea, but if we don't get started, eventually it's gonna enter into the collective consciousness and someone else is gonna do it, right? So I kind of feel like some of you, it's like maybe you have an idea to do something. You're not sure if it's a good idea. You're not sure if it's the right direction, but it's like if you don't do it, someone else will. So I feel like you need to like get moving here. Uh, with the Empress in the Journey card, you have the Judgment card. You know, I feel like you're waking up to your true power. I feel like you are understanding your value. And because of that, you're attracting like more valuable situations, love and otherwise. We're not just talking about love here. We're talking about everything, so love it. Uh, let's see, we're gonna pull five main themes. You have this yoke card, it says feeling tied down or frustrated, definitely feel this energy. I'm a Gemini moon. I don't know, like the past like couple weeks, like in the morning, I've been waking up with this like weird feeling, I can't even describe it, but I just feel like a little bit tied down. Whenever I feel this way, I always start working on something creative because usually, um, you know, kind of like working on something creative kind of gets, it's like at least I'm moving the energy forward. It could be anything. Any Working on something creative could be like learning an instrument, uh, coloring a picture. It could be writing about whatever it is you're doing. So that's what I do. I just write every single morning now um, because I have these like weird feelings, right? So, and it, it's just like a little bit of a stuck feeling that I've been feeling. So again, if you've been feeling it, I would write it out or I would create it out. I find that that kind of uh, at least gets the energy moving in the right direction. You don't want to bo bottle it up, right? Uh, you have this diamond card. It says you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. I feel like you're receiving gifts at this time because you're choosing the right thing, the empress. You're choosing your powerful energy and you know that's, that's it. 
You have a seahorse. You have two seahorse cards here. It says family matters. So for some of you, I kind of feel like you're getting a lot of support from family at this time. Feels pretty good. You have this pale card. It says time to get out of a situation. Yeah, this person, this tricky person, they're still tricky. They'll always be tricky, just who they are. Um, and finally, you have this well card. It says, family wishes come true. I told you, definitely good stuff involving family or you could be wanting to create a family. You could be meeting a person you're to create a family with. Looks really good. Uh, I like this a lot for you here, Gemini. So thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you and definitely enjoy your week.